Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today it's a special day because we are no longer in the Tesla studio in our car but we are at the Tesla dealership here in The Hague, Netherlands. And uh, why it's a special day? Well, because today we will be seeing the new Tesla Cybertruck. Um, this is a part of their tour in Europe. It's called Tesla Odyssey. So they will come in all uh, uh, big cities in Europe and they will be showcasing their new car. Uh, keep in mind that the Cybertruck is not yet regulated for the European market, but uh, by uh, doing this tour, it's an opportunity for us to see the beast. Um, I wanted to show you before, like here we have the new Tesla Model S Plaid with the normal steering wheel. Very, very, very important. I personally don't like the yoke, but let me know what you think, if you like it or not. I think it's a matter of preference. And uh, yeah, let's go inside and see the new Cybertruck. Welcome to the Tesla Odyssey event. As you can see, these are the participating uh, locations. And to our right, we have here the Cybertruck. That's like a massive, massive car. It's bigger than I was expecting in reality. Here we have the beast in the foundation series. So that means that it's one of the first cyber trucks ever made, uh, which is nice, of course. Um, those who are supposed to come with the uh, full third driving package I understood that uh, this is no longer happening, so uh, I don't know why. And I think you can see the stainless steel, uh, stainless steel case which is like impressive apparently this is also bulletproof uh, of course i did not test it but there are plenty plenty of videos uh, online where they test this and here you can see the back uh, these are the ladies in the back well you can see that the back is quite 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 big you can deposit lots of stuff here uh, in the same time uh, you can also add a separate power bank here, a separate battery pack that will increase the range of your Cybertruck. I hope I'm not wrong, but this is what I understood. Uh, this is the charging port, as you can see in the back. And check out these wheels. These wheels are absolutely huge, huge, huge. Also an interesting uh, detail, um, well the proof that um, the Cybertruck has hardware for zero install is these cameras, these tiny cameras which are used for sentry mode, uh, these have a red dot in the middle so that's basically one of the signs that uh, the car is using hardware for zero which is the latest Tesla hardware. I also wanted to show you the setup, like this is the highest setup of suspensions. Of course the suspensions are adjustable, 
so uh, it's super super high um, and of course you can I mean if you literally look at the car at, at the people here you can see that the car is like over two meters tall in the highest setup I want to give you a sneak peek at the steering wheel you can see uh, it's uh, quite different compared to the other steering wheel that we see on the Teslas so it's not like uh, the normal steering wheel that we have for Model S. As I said, it's a yoke wheel, but uh, with the top also uh, like uh, completely like a full circle, but in a yoke shape. Uh, the interior, it's uh, really, really nice. And from what I understood, it has plenty, plenty of storage. Uh, unfortunately, we are not able to enter the car. Also an interesting fact is that you will not see any Tesla logo on this car. You will only see the Cybertruck logo. So also on the steering wheel, uh, we do not have the Tesla logo as you can see, but it's the Cybertruck logo, so the shape of the Cybertruck. Uh, also in the charging port, uh, you were used before with Tesla logo but no, on this one it's the Cybertruck, so there is absolutely no uh, Tesla logo on this car um, and everything is Cybertruck shaped, so if you look at the windows, uh, unfortunately they are open now but you can see the same uh, triangular shape uh, as the entire car. Another aspect is uh, the, the sharp edges of this car. So these are really, really, really sharp. So if you are not paying attention, to be honest, you can scratch yourself in these edges. And uh, this is one of the main reasons that the Cybertruck is not regulated for Europe because of uh, its sharp edges. Um, and uh, also because of the stainless steel um, body um, it does not comply with the European regulations of protecting the pedestrians in case of a crash. Uh, talking a bit about the lights, uh, this is just a LED light, as you can see. Uh, this stays always on, so it's sort of uh, the standard LED light that you have. And then, of course, uh, you have, because this is an US model, you have the side uh, yellow lights uh, that always stay on. And further down, if you look here, uh, you have the DRL and the low beams. Sorry, I think it's the low beams and the high beams. Uh, the DRL is this one. Let me know in the comments. I still don't know the full specs of this one, but I just wanted to, to show that to you. Uh, and of course, uh, the side are the standard uh, stop lights for uh, the American models, the yellow light. Uh, you see this LED light? Sometimes it's flashing, but I wanted to, <laughs> to let you know that uh, it's not flashing, so it's a, it's a normal one. It's not like uh, you are going on the highway and uh, this LED light is flashing, but it's sort of like the standard URL for, uh, for the Tesla Cybertruck. Also, if we look at this wiper here, you can see that it's massive and it covers the whole screen. Uh, well, uh, there were some problems uh, with the wiper uh, in the past. Also, especially for the foundation series, uh, they, uh, they were saying that uh, the wiper sometimes is not staying in that upright position, but sometimes it's going down. I understood that uh, these problems were solved with a recall, um, but yeah, it's uh, it's quite impressive. And also, when we look at the whole uh, windshield, the windshield is really, really impressive. Okay, in the back, we also have the same LED light, which stays uh, permanently on. And once you apply the brake. Uh, this LED light will be gone and 
in here you will have the stop lights. We also have a foundation series bench here. So another proof that uh, it is part of the foundation uh, holes. And if we zoom in here, we will actually see that this model was manufactured in February 2024. Again, the foundation badge right here. If you would have ordered the foundation series, uh, besides these uh, exterior tags, you would also get a personalized white interior, which can only be found on the foundation series. Uh, also, the uh, all weather mats, uh, and uh, supposedly this initially would have come with full self-driving included but what i know for sure is that uh, was no longer valid for the owner that just received the series uh, when we look in the back we see that uh, uh, the display is quite similar the rear display is quite similar with what we have on the model s and model x and the new model 3 of course um, as for the tablet understood that it's more or less the same uh, just the fonts are a bit different uh, that's that's the only change of course uh, the turn signals are not present <laughs> and uh, you can do left and right by pressing uh, the touch buttons on the steering wheel i wanted to show you the back as well and as you can see here this is the button that will allow you to open or close the trunk uh, I understood that also in the foundation series there is a problem with this button because it is rubber and uh, during the hot summer days it heats up so uh, that's a problem and it starts deteriorating and this one was also changed uh, under warranty it was sort of a recall for, uh, for this what's also impressive is the volume of the cyber truck trunk which is uh, 3800 liters uh, fully loaded which is quite quite impressive uh, here on the left you also have some outlets uh, so you can power up with this you can power up your tools or whatever when you're somewhere outside you can power up everything because the bed the car it's a power bank basically and you can actually do lots of stuff with it so with a single press of the button, this it's getting close. So that's amazing. And you have plenty, plenty of storage here in the back. And with another press of the button, this becomes nice. I like that. let's see the front of this oh that's amazing so we have a mini cyber truck here and this is the front that's super nice uh, i was expecting it to be uh bigger to be honest but yeah i think uh, the boot space it's uh compensates well enough and i think this is made out of lego if I'm not mistaken so that's awesome and now you can see better uh, the lights so we have the high and uh, uh, the low and high beam and uh, yeah on the right side it's the specific US stop lights there are two models the dual motor all-wheel drive version which is the let's say less sporty version and the cyber beast which is a tri-motor version 2.6 kilometers 0 to 100 what is interesting to know is uh, that uh, similar with the plaid which is also a tri-motor the cyber beast uh, which is tri-motor has a lower range than the old wheel drive dual motor version so the cyber beast has a range of 510 kilometers 
a wildly all-wheel drive in the range of 550 kilometers. Um, supposedly another model, which is the rear wheel drive model, will have uh, will appear in 2025. But again, I think it's just a rumor at the moment. And uh, this model will have a range of uh, 500 kilometers. I have just confirmed with one of the Tesla representatives this is the duo motor version from the foundation series so it's not the cyber beast but uh, I wouldn't take the cyber beast to be honest uh, it's also a lower range and uh, uh, yeah you have the performance of 2.6 uh, till 100 but this car is not made for prefer performance this is a pickup truck so it has other purposes for sure. Uh, you can also opt for an extra battery pack that occupies one third of this boot and uh, gives you around 120 miles off range extra or Calculated in kilometers, it's around uh, 193 or almost 200 kilometers extra, which is of course really really nice. Uh, but uh, keep in mind that this option costs around 16,000 US dollars in United States, of course. The battery pack is 123 kilowatts. Uh, and uh, the charging can be done with a max throughput of 350 uh, kilowatts hour. So that's quite impressive. Uh, and uh, I think that the range is quite acceptable for a pickup truck. Uh, as mentioned, uh, you can add the extendable battery that gives you an additional 120 miles of range. Also, what's interesting to know is that the wheels the rear wheels are uh, also steering in the opposite direction uh, of the front wheels so it will allow you to turn your car to 180 degrees really really easy that's already known and uh, yeah the Cybertruck is known already for uh, its uh, maneuverability um, as for uh, these uh, let's say mud guards um, front and back uh, you see that uh, they are made out of plastic and you see that they are quite sensitive so uh, we have already one scratched here uh, while uh, for the conventional cars uh, these are uh, quite uh, let's say easy to replace I think that for the Cybertruck uh, it's quite difficult to, to replace them uh, and also uh, they sort of like uh, come part of the chassis and they are not that flexible so taking into account the difference between the rear wheel and the front wheel I believe it's uh, quite quite probable that if you go off-road you will probably scratch this remember these are not only for uh, mud but they are also playing an aerodynamic role. This is how you open the cyber truck. You see here the, uh, the line, which is actually the button for opening the door. The same in the back here. So this is how you open it. And uh, you can see the, the specific shape uh, as well. Uh, and as you can see, uh, the um, as I was showing you, uh, the hardware for Zero Proof is in the cameras. I hope that you can see that the cameras have a tiny, tiny red uh, dot in the middle. And uh, we have here a Model 3 Highland, which has exactly the same red dot. So this is hardware for Zero uh, compared to the old model 3 which is uh, a previous hardware version cameras for the model 3 uh, 
the one that are used when you are doing turn signal and this is where the cameras are placed for the side truck. Okay, so we are at the Tesla Cybertruck event or the Tesla Odyssey and we just caught this leaking. I'm not sure what can this be. Could it be from the HVAC system or something else? Let me know down in the comments what do you think or where do you think this uh, leaking is from. hello everybody and welcome back so we just exited uh, the Tesla dealership and we had the chance to see the Cybertruck uh, it was a nice experience and uh, I got my uh, custom uh, Cybertruck uh, pick here uh, from the Odyssey event uh, to be honest I wasn't expecting it to be that big so it's quite big and now I understand why it will not be regulated for the European market yet and also uh, the edges are very very sharp so they are not very user friendly with the pedestrians let's put it that way what I like when I come here is that I can also get some wheels ideas for my car so for instance this is an older Model 3 but the wheels are amazing they have a big curve rest here but they look really really amazing so uh, let me know in the comments down below if you know what type of wheels are they and uh, let's see if this is a performance model or not. Uh, yep, this is a performance. So for sure, the calipers are not painted, but the wheels are aftermarket for sure. So that's what I like. What do you think about these wheels? These are put on the Model 3. Honestly, for me, that's a no-go. I don't really, really like them. It's too big, to be honest. And we have our car, which doesn't look bad at all, to be honest, uh, with this uh, uh, black uh, wheel caps on white. I like it a lot. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm super excited for what's next. I have some new videos coming soon. Also, stay tuned. Uh, new video might come where I will be testing the new Model 3 performance so I'm excited about that as well until next time see you soon